the law is the law. This was originally posted as a comment, but someone suggested I make it its own post. So, I've edited it slightly. I once hosted an event in a bar. It was a kind of celebration for police trainees. New recruits that kind of thing. Anyway, as I was busy slaving away, pouring drinks etc., this one woman who was absolutely full of herself was watching me pour measures for another customer, making comments about the amount of ice in drinks, how I was using the wrong glass. I wasn't. And other obnoxious comments about how she was waiting to be served and she was here first. She wasn't. I was pouring some spirits, and for those who don't know, they come in standard sizes of 25 milliliters for singles, 50 milliliters for doubles etc. I reached the end of the bottle as I was pouring the whiskey and there was a tiny drop left, so I just poured those few extra ml into the glass. Which you shouldn't really do, but who cares, right? Anyway, she gets up in my face about how it's technically illegal to pour extra measures and that the law is the law and I should follow the law to the letter. I tried to brush it off and ignore her and carried on serving other customers. But there she was commenting on pretty much everything I was doing and as everyone who has worked in customer service, you know how annoying it is to have everything scrutinized and commented on as though you're nothing but a useless piece of shit. It comes to her turn and she asks for an alcoholic beverage. So, using my limited powers I ask her for her ID. She goes bright red in the face and stutters something about being old enough to be in the police. I tell her sorry. If you don't have ID, I can't legally serve you. The law is the law after all. Lo and behold, she didn't have ID and had to settle for lemonade. Now to the comments. This is the perfect passive aggressive response in customer service. When life gives you Karen, give her lemonade, and then demand to speak with Karen's manager. This second line is what happened in a Nidwell story I read some days back. This Karen came up to the OP, who didn't work there, and started being really demanding. When OP didn't help, because duh, she demanded to speak to their manager. This dude who had been watching the whole thing from further down the aisle, just another customer, marched right up to Karen, and did the exact same thing back to her. Beautiful. It must have been hard to conceal that smile. OP replied. It's probably one of the only times in my life when something like that had landed perfectly in place for me to do something about it. You took the opportunity to and didn't just think about what could have been while in the shower. I had a cop flash his badge at me when I tried to ID him when I worked at a liquor store and got pissy with me when I didn't accept it. Like, I'm just enforcing the law here dude. You think I'm going to break protocol to a cop? Nice try, though. Right? Like what if this is a setup? I worked at a Smoothie King right after college, when you commission into the Air Force as a pilot out of ROTC they give you a report date and don't pay you until then. Mine was six months afterwards, spent three months traveling and then needed some cash for the next three. Needless to say, I did not care about this job, and a cop handed me a credit card to pay for a signature he had written, CID so naturally I turned to the cop and said, Sir, I'm gonna need to see some ID. He had this completely startled and dumbfounded expression before I turned his card around so he could see what I was talking about. He then proceeded to sheepishly show me his ID and I rung him up for the smoothie. Why was he confused if he wrote that in the first place? Probably because nobody asks for that usually. Also, you have to have ID to sit at the bar top. I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ask you to move. It's the law. Been a while since I worked in a pub, but I don't think she needs an ID to sit at the bar. She does, however, need to be over 18 to order at the bar, so I'd have made her get someone else to purchase her lemonade just to wind her up. Location difference 
Here in Vegas, they are super strict about it. There are signs up at every bar and casino. 21 plus only, no exceptions. To be a fly on the freaking wall. I would have given you a standing ovation. You would stop rubbing your little fly hands together to applaud. I'd cry but this is the funniest image I've thought of in a while lol. Wait you can't do a shot and a half? Or a triple for a double? Not in the UK. You only work with 80 proof. Surely there are some with different alcohol percentages. They still regulate it by the volume in ml or the total alcohol in the drink. Sorry, I need your ID, you don't act old enough to drink. Short and sweet. Love it. In Australia, 30 milliliters is a standard shot size, so what you did would have been perfectly fine over here. It's fine anywhere to pour extra. Okay your manager would probably scold you. But imagine her fellow cops listening to her bickering. Like imagine yourself getting the drink, you see you get a little extra and you're like hell yeah boy, big tip for you. And then crazy woman goes on a rant about your drink having extra in it and how that's not right. Duck you, lady. I'm sure she is going to make an absolutely stellar cop, with no power trip agenda whatsoever slash s. This incident alone would have me believing that there actually is a god. Could someone please explain why you can't pour more in the drink? Why does it have to be an exact measure? The UK banned all free pour to make sure places don't short you. You can use whatever size measurements. But it has to be what is advertised. Almost, whiskey, rum, vodka and gin must be 25 milliliters or 35 milliliters or multiples thereof. The law is centuries old at this point, although updated for metric in the 60s or 70s. Never mess with the people who pour your drinks. Just beautiful. It cracks me up when jerks talk their bartender slash cashier slash etc. Out of letting them drink or buy cigs. If she would have had her ID, I would have poured to the exact ml of the drink she ordered and add extra ice. Evil grin edit, extra to exact. How can she go to a bar and not bring ID? Nice, karma is indeed a witch. Ugh so satisfying. Malicious, with an extra ml of petty revenge. I was licensed to serve when I did wine tasting as a specialty retailer. I had to turn away my own mother because her ID was expired, thus invalid. She was proud of me that day, because she raised a rule follower. Live by the sword, die by the firearm. Live by the rule book, die by a thousand paper cuts. I feel you. My smuggest moment was when I free poured a double and this woman shrieked no way is that a double, you're pouring too short and trying to con me. So, I took out a jigger and pour the contents of the glass into it. Not to blow my own trumpet, but the measurement was absolutely perfect. Completely filled up the 50 milliliters of the jigger with a perfect meniscus on top. Needless to say, she didn't complain for the rest of the night after that. After I started reading that, I thought you were going to end with saying you poured the extra back into the bottle. I bet anything this woman is what Dungeons and Dragons players call a conditional rules lawyer. The rules are the rules and must be followed to the letter, except when it benefits them to ignore it. She probably wouldn't have said a word of admonishment or thanks if you gave her that sliver of extra alcohol. Duck and witch. OP replied. As an ex-dungeon master, I know those exact players. I work in a liquor store and this is my way of getting rid of shitty customers. 99% of the time they don't bring their ID with them when they drive to the liquor store, and if I ask for one, it's illegal to sell to them without seeing it, so if you piss me off I just ID people and kick them out if they don't have one on them. 
she talked herself sober. I'm betting that she actually had her ID, but wasn't 21. I'm guessing it's UK, so 18, due to references to the serving volumes of the Weights and Measures Act. Opie replied, Yup UK. In all fairness she almost certainly was over 18, but she was making my night a nightmare, so I did what I needed to do. I bet that it was the best lemonade she ever had. Not sure what's worse. Her being that much of an obnoxious ass, or being totally sober on top of that. Isn't it also the law that if someone is challenged for ID and can't produce it, they have to be asked to leave? That was a satisfying read law thanks for sharing. The law is the law and you should follow it to the letter. Well looks like you did, those letters being ID. 9 p.m. around here, minors are not allowed in bars. I would have asked her to leave at 9 p.m. as well, 